Hi, this is Chris, and I wanted to give you a quick updated tour of my uh, Bitcoin mining rig that I've been running for a little while now. Um, so let's see. So I'm going back to the last video I posted. Um, a couple of new things we have. So I bought a couple of additional Ice Fury uh, miners, uh, which have been pretty good. Uh, they cost a little bit more than the Red Furies um, two months ago or whatever when I bought them. And the prices obviously change pretty frequently in Bitcoin world. Um, but they cost a little bit more than the Red Furies and they're actually a little bit slower. Uh, they come in at about 2 gigahertz versus the Red Furies, which are like probably right around 2.3 to 2.5 gigahertz. Um, but they are um, more stable, it seems like. I don't know if it's because of how I have my, you know, rigs configured. I have two Raspberry Pis now running these separately. I don't know if it's because I only have two units on one Raspberry Pi versus the four Red Furies on the other one. Um, it's, that's why the Ice Furies are more more stable or if it's some other reason. But um, they never seem to be really um, needing to be rebooted versus the Red Furies, which right now they're working fine. You see the lights flashing, but on occasion they'll just all go solid red and the unit's basically frozen and I need to unplug it and plug it back in. That's only or maybe every other week though. Um, so I just let it run until it freezes and then just plug it back in. So let's see, in addition to the Ice Furies, um, another update was the uh, cases that I added here for the Raspberry Pis, so pretty inexpensive. Um, the Raspberry Pis are still you know, they run really cool, so I, I could feel a little bit of heat when I touch these um, cases, but otherwise they're not, like, running hotter or anything like that. It, it just keeps helps keep them a little bit safer and cleaner. Um, another thing, too, is um, when you put those cases together, they're pretty inexpensive. If, if you make a mistake and try to pull the plastic apart, don't be surprised if you, you break it off. Um, so just make sure you put it together the first time correctly. Um, or you might have a couple broken pieces, but I have a broken piece and it went together just fine. So not a big deal um, Okay, let's see what else do we have so we have this new fan that I added here um, I don't know if you remember my my old video. The old one was kind of weak and wispy um, This one is just you know way better. Uh, it, it's quieter even though it's a bigger fan So I, I definitely like that and it just moves way more air. It's just more effective, I think, for this purpose. And I put the I put the fan on its own power supply, actually. So the, my previous fan was having some problems. I plugged it into the same USB hub as the unit, and then some, it was making the unit kind of unstable. So I think it's important to keep the fan on its own circuit. Um, and then here I can turn it on real quick if you want to hear. It. Like I said, it's it's pretty quiet. Um, and one thing I noticed too is just if I touch these things too much, I don't know if I can make it happen now, but this thing will light up and they'll stop. I mean, it's they're they're kind of um, you know not especially stable or whatever. So you want to get this thing running in the right place and just you know let it run and don't bother it. I'll just leave it alone for now. Um, so let's see what was the other update? Oh, I have um, I ended up buying this kilowatt machine so I could actually check. The wattages um, that we're pulling we're pulling about 46.9 right now which seems about average um, let me uh, unplug these one at a time and we'll see how many watts they're taking so the first thing I'm going to unplug is um, the four red furies along with um, the hub and the corresponding raspberry pi that goes with it and we'll see what the wattage change is so right now I'm looking at about, we'll call it 47 watt. And then let's unplug this and we'll see that go out. Okay, and then what are we looking at now? 30 watt. So, I mean, I want to say that we're running 17 in there or something. 16 to 17 watt, which makes sense. Um, those are supposed to be 2.5 each. Maybe they're a little bit more. So that's 10 plus the Raspberry Pi might be another 5 watt and then you think the hub so that's probably about right and then let's see how much uh, how much for the Ice Furies and the Raspberry Pi I'll reboot that one also so let's see that's right now at 31 plug this what are we 
way down there. About 20 or less. So, yeah, I guess the Ice Fury is using maybe even a little bit less than 2.5 watt than plus the, the Raspberry Pi. So, anyway, I'll plug these back in now. So, first those are the Ice Furies. I'll plug in. You can see the wattage isn't going up very fast yet because we actually have to... The Raspberry Pi actually has to get started and go through the boot up sequence and all that. But uh, otherwise they're pretty stable now. I, I don't really bother with them that much um, because it's just it runs continuously and it's runs continuously and it's you know not really requiring any maintenance or anything like that. So I might need to reboot that one more time with those lights on the way they are. Something weird. I'm just gonna unplug it and plug it in one more time. And um, just the last thing I was going to post in the video was that uh, you know the price of Bitcoin is has kind of come down a little bit in the last few months. It's gone up again recently in the last week or two, but overall, with that and the increasing amount of uh, hashing power that's going into the Bitcoin network, um, you know my my profit. I was making two dollars a day when I started with this with just the four Red Furies, and I maybe I'm maybe making. 20 cents a day or 25 cents a day now with all these running um, so not necessarily um, a good investment anymore at this level uh, maybe if you were to get a, a, a Neptune or you know, maybe some other investment that would make sense but um, for me I'm just going to keep this going and slowly accumulate some Bitcoin and maybe in the long run it will go up in value uh, but right now it's it's really not making very much money from time to time so that's about it um, let me know if you have any more questions um, hope you liked the video come back take care